Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, from Scotia Barn here in Burnaby, where today the Coquitlam Express will take on the Powell River Kings. Now Kovacevic won the inboard, trying to turn away from Neil. Frees it up for McDougal, the backhand, Peters the save, and he quickly covers that one up and holds on to it for a whistle. The player is knocked down, coming out of the zone. Thought it might have been a penalty. But now Tattle lost the puck in his own zone as he wheeled back. Now Reese to where the wrist shot, and he hit the post. Put it over the shoulder, across on the stick side, but it stayed out. So Kunda back with the puck. Rimming it around the boards, blocked by Raymond. Now Neal turns the fires with the shot, across the save, rebound cleared away to the corner. Good chance there for Adamo Santia in front. Wessels, he'll take it off the boards. His pass blocked by Kovacevic, and Slevy will wheel in with McDougal. Slevy toe drag and a shot, and he put it wide on the glove side. Now fed back to Colton Kovic. He'll fire his shot, Peters the save. Oakley turning with the puck, trying to fight off a check and does. Feeds it back door, trying to make a shot, and looks in the crease. And somehow it stayed out on a great chance for Matthew Campbell after a fantastic setup by Keaton Oakley. Now Burnett takes a hard hit in the neutral zone. As Toy wheels in, he tries to center it. And that's blocked in a good sliding play by Campbell. Campbell. His pass, give it away. Santia steals. He hit the post. So two posts for the Kings here in this first period after express turnovers in their own end of the ice. Well, down Kenny. Rolling it up to Suzukovic will poke it into the Kings zone. Pearson. He'll battle in the corner for the puck. Being tied up there by Milliken. Now Suzukovic gets free and shoots and scores! From the right wing boards, Ryan Suzukovic surprising Peters. And the Express have taken the one to nothing lead. Santia, or rather Krog, lost the screen in front. There's a shot knocked down. And it's swatted away to the corner by Kovic. Now Bonkowski on the puck as Bond had to stick break. Back to Burnett, wrist shot scores! Press never saw it through the screen. It's a power play goal, the game is tied at one. Bonkowski feeds a high slot to Raymond, wrist shot, Cross knocked it down. Now the rebound, and Cross came over and made a diving save to deny Raymond. 15 seconds remaining in the period. Lead feed to Bonkowski at center ice. Now to Reese for speed. He'll drop it off for Raymond for a shot. And that hit the post. And bounces to the boards. Third pipe of this first period. As now the first period comes to an end. <laughs> well played around for Sam Belanger. He'll settle things down as the Express send out the Schleppi McDougal. Line up there, along with Kovacevic, and a shot scores! Tyler Schleppi over the shoulder of Peters, and the Express lead again is to the one. Now Will Dow Kenny, flipping it out for Schleppi. He'll lead the rush into the King zone. Drop it out for Kovacevic, center for Schleppi, and he slid it low and just wide. McDougal trying to center it, they hit the side of the goal. Tattle. He'll flip it up to Fraser. He'll speed through center ice into the King zone. Play it through his feet, and then he got dropped as Cool just leveled Austin Fraser. Parkhouse to the line to Belanger. Wrist shot, knocked down, crosses down, and kept it out. Kings stay on the attack, however. Starting back is the Express captain through center ice. Left wing feed for Tattle in the King zone. Tattle walks in, wrist shot, high and off the glass on the short side. And it'll bounce all the way down the ice into the Powell River zone. As Schleppi leads the rush into the King zone, the left wing takes it down deep, backhands it in, front puck is loose, they jam, and they, they score! They were hacking and whacking at it. And they jammed it past Peters for a power play goal. And the Express will open up a 3-1 lead. D to D to Wessels. They'll fire it up and race the road. Take a big hit and tip it into the express zone. Second power play of the afternoon for Powell River. Express win the draw. Secundum fires up to Pearson at center with a breakaway. Danny Pearson hit the post. Beat Peters on the glove side, but it stayed out. Fourth post of the game. He lost the puck and in come the express with three and a quad the line. Slubby on the left wing. He'll feed McDougal. He waits, he shoots, and Peters made the save. Now Dylan Mueller controlling in his own zone. Gave it away, Merrick shoots, put it wide on the stick side. 
Good luck for Sam Merritt after a reckless pass in the middle of the ice. Out comes Lucas Lundy with Campbell jumping into the rush along with Juka. Lundy will chip. Race in after in the corner. Center off the side of the goal. Bertoni with a chance. And a good save made by Peters there. Teams will be opening up this third period, skating a four on four for 91 seconds with Daniel Juka and Dylan Hewlett in the box for cross-checking. And we are back underway as a wraparound chance for Sleppy and he scores. His second of the game comes just 12 seconds into the third and it's a 4-1 express lead. Now Merritt will force it into the King's zone. His pass gets through to Oakley. He'll cut in. Dob it back for Alex Secunda. Wrist shot steered aside by Peters. Now Oakley, give it a bump by Brody Johnston. Now Zikovic cross-checking his man from behind. Now free number title. Side of the net, they score! Matthew Campbell, his first goal in the BCHL, and it's a 5-1 express lead. Lundy on the puck again. The line to Yeem. Left point down, Kenny. He'll snap it down into the corner. There, Tony fighting on the check of Gould. Juka comes in for the puck. Back to down, Kenny. Rich shot, stick to Simon Peters. Lundy on the rebound, and he scores. There's the first BCHL goal for Lucas Lundy, and it's now a 6-1 express lead. Now Pearson in the battle. Santillo carry it right back in the express zone. He's knocked down at a good hit by Secunda. And it's sent around the boards to Campbell. Puck comes in front for Kagan. Two chances. And Quest stop that. Back to the line to Secunda. To the left side of Danny Pearson. McDougal in the slot. Pearson, McDougal, wrist shot, scores! Sliding it through, Peters, and it's a 7-1 express lead. So Merritt was also in the vicinity as well. Burnett bees it over for Raymond, and that pass didn't quite work as he, meanwhile, behind the play, Parkhouse got knocked down. He's back up and has the puck. Centers on in front for Neal with a chance. And he scores. Aaron Neal tucking it past Dylan Cruss to make it a 7-2 game. Kagan with his pass is taken away. And out come the Express with a three on two. Danny Pearson down the right wing. With Suzukovic. Pearson to the net. He shoots. He put it wide on the stick side. Good rush for the Express captain there. Then back to Merritt with a shot. And Japo got a piece of that. Dish it off to Kovic, one timers, take the side by Japo. Now Oakley had the puck go through his feet, and the Kings will set it down the ice as Kovic throws the hip. Now race for behind the net, centering pass, Kagan at the side, can't tuck it home. Russ got over and made the pad save. As we're now in the last 10 seconds of the third period, Lucas Lundy setting it down the ice into the Powell River zone. One last rush on the left wing side, cleared away to the boards, back to the line to Yeem. His shot is blocked, and the Express have won the game by a score of seven to two. So back-to-back -back victories for the Express over the Powell River Kings, putting up 15 goals in the process in their last two outings. So the Express enjoy the winning feeling for a second consecutive game. Express will come and center ice him. Salute to you watching on hockey TV.